Hi, in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to create an interactive chain using iMates. Right, off we go. I have a very simple chain link here. To see how we created this, we'll have a quick look at the sketches. So, sketch one using the new slot tool in Venter 2014. I have modeled that. And sketch two is just a circle with some projected geometry so I know where to place it. The first thing I need to do to start creating my interactive chain is creating a work point. The work point needs to be created on the Y axis and the internal surface of the chain link. I need to do another one on the other side. So exactly the same process, Y axis and then the internal surface. I have my two work points now. Now what I'll do with these is put iMates on these work points to allow them to connect together when I create the assembly file. So to put my iMates on, I'll go to the manage tab and go to iMate. The first one is a very, very simple iMate. It is simply a mate constraint on the work point. I'll press OK at that point. The next one is going to be an angle constraint. So we're going to go to angle. We're going to use one of the work planes. So I'm going to use the internal XY plane. And this is going to be set at 90 degrees. This is to allow, when I connect the chains together, they all connect perfectly. So press OK on that. Now, I have two iMates. What we need to do with this is now turn this into a composite iMate. So this is allowed to allow you to use the two iMates together when you place the chain links together. So in my browser, I'll expand iMates. I have my two I made there. To create that as a composite, hold your shift key down, right click and say create composite. I'll now save this file as link one. Now link one is going to be my first part in my interactive chain link. If I just want a chain link, I need to have a second chain link with two composite iMates on so they can connect at both ends. So we're just going to repeat the process. Going to the Manage tab, iMate. It's going to be a simple iMate on the work point. And then we're going to have an angular one on the work plane. And we're going to have that at 90 degrees. We'll save this as link two. Now, I'll shoot the files that I've got down open now, and I'm going to create a standard assembly file. I'm going to place in link one because this is going to be my static part. Now, depending on which options you have selected in 2014, you, you may need to place it up, grounded at the origin. There is an option inside of application options to allow that to work as it did in previous releases. So, I'm only putting one of those in. I will then place in link to. Now, as long as I've got my interactively placed with iMates on, it will automatically connect. And... As, many, as much as I click now, I will get more chain links when I keep clicking. So I'll put a few more in. So as you can see, I have a few chain links in here. Right click, press OK to finish. I'll just turn off my work planes. I've still got the work points on, but this is now an interactive chain link. So when I drag, as you can see, 
Chin follows where I drag this to. If this was connected to two posts, move the post, the chain will act accordingly. Very simple methodology, but I think, I hope you'll agree, it's a very, very powerful tool. That was creating an interactive chain link using iMates. I hope you agree, a very, very powerful tool. Thanks for watching.